I've posted this several times, but I'm going to post it again because I'm getting this question a lot through fishkokanee.com emails, emails from the YouTube channel. I'm going to tie up a micro hoochie. There's a lot of new people watching my channel. And so this is why I'm getting the emails. And Lake Washington's on fire. Um, Merwin's on fire. There's a lot of local fisheries on fire right now. Number two hooks. Number two gamagatsu split shot drop shot. A sewing needle with a big eye. Micro hoochie and a four millimeter bead. Through the loop. Pinch five times around. One or three, four, five. Hold back through the eye. This goes like that. Pinch, and then you grab the other one. One, two, three, four, five. Grab this. Take the twist out of it. I'm going to put it in my teeth right now. And I kind of kind of put it in my teeth and then work it down so because it kind of gets tangled. Through. So we're going through the back side. I like I like opposing. So and I do right about there. That's about a quarter inch. Okay, so pinch right here. Pinch five times away from you. One, two, three, four, five. Pinch. Back through the hole. If you use anything less than two, number two hooks, you will have a tough time getting both, both lines through here. So grab this, we're gonna trade, we're gonna trade these. So pinch this one now and let this one go. One, two, three, four, five. Untwist. You will get a lot better at doing this the more you do. It's pretty frustrating at first. There we are, and when you pull this, you'll get a little slack out of it. Okay, pull. Okay, this is this line. What I started out with is fifteen pound cigar. This is this should run you about eleven to thirteen dollars. This is why I use this hundred yards right there, and then I also use it because it's point three three zero millimeter diameter. So it's a it's a pretty thick diameter for fifteen pound. So I like it. That's what translates this into the lure. That's why you use 15 pound. Because you, you want the lure to move, or you want the dodger to move the lure. Four millimeter bead. See how this hole is a bigger hole to accommodate the 15 pound. You don't need to tie it off. You don't need to do anything. Pinch it. See how I did that? Just pinch it. These are the ones I sell on fishkokanee.com. So I'm just going to try to pop that needle out the top. Boop. Cut that off. See how that four millimeter kind of spreads the legs out a little bit? It creates a gap here. There's, there's nothing here to interfere a fish touching that hook. And I like when it's moving this kind of, this back hook kind of creates its own separate entity on here. I always measure from here, so from fingertip to fingertip, from the top of that lure, that's what I'm talking about when I'm eight to 13 inches. This is new, I just started doing this. I just started tying loops. So it's literally just a simple loop. I wouldn't do this with bigger fish, but I did it for sockeye last year because Brad Wagner told me to do it. There it is. That's it. So this is one setup I'm always running. Always. It's go-to. Arrow Flash Dodger. This is the Red Tail Wager, I believe it's called. This is the other setup I'm always running. You can tell this Arrow Flash is old. 
is starting to chip with a vetter fly. My two setups, I'm always, always using these two setups. So go fish Lake Washington if you live here because it's on fire. Launch at Gene Coulon. Go fish the south end of Mercer Island. There's a lot of kokanee in there. Have a great day.